Welcome back to the Choice Podcast. You got my mom, dad, or as they don't like me to say it, Ralph and Vicky, <laughs> Aubrey and myself here, and of course the and dogs. The dogs. And the dogs. Yep. They we liked decided it so to keep much them. Last time, you know, they did. Might they had well a great time. In here. You know, we are totally about family, and well, they're, they're part. A part of it, just like yours at home. Even yeah. if he's a little bit slow sometimes. That's okay. Don't pick on Leo. We still love him. He's a beautiful he's English. So Physi- what's going physically, on? well. It's coming up to October. And re- realistically, we are filming this early because in September, all four of us are Our home goal. a single day together. Yes, this is true. This is going to be insane. Yep. Not one single day. So that means we'll probably get along better? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll absence makes the heart grow fonder. I'm just saying. Exactly. So it'd be good. Yeah. So it's going to be crazy. So yeah. We're going to so. talk about whitetails a little bit early. For oh, okay. Uh, for, uh, early for okay. us. This will be coming out in October again. Right. So that'll be good. But uh, let's kick it off with some questions, and we'll just oh. I'm sure we'll go off the off the tracks. Okay. We never go yeah. off the tracks. What? Never. No. We never. We never lose our train All right. of thought. This one isn't really about whitetail. Oh. But oh. David asked Ralph. Oh. What do you use for a stabilizer on your bow? Hoyt. Oh. Hoyt. All of our Hoyt stabilizers. Um, we we actually each set up. Believe it or not, that we we go with. Either extension, you know, the short mm-hmm. or the long versions. Um, we try to get a better balance on each one of our bows. Um, and really, that's about it. You know, on any stabilizer, you know, if you're setting up your bow, you know, may, maybe bring your bow into the shop and try different ones and put them on and get, walk out on the range and feel the balance and see which one feels better for you. And the next thing you know is, I mean, that's the one you're going to you're gonna decide with. Don't think you've got to shoot exactly what... what you know what your buddy's shooting right. because each application is totally different to the individual and the other thing too with the hoyt ones is we have it so we have the little sticks that hold our bow up like when we're hunting in the ground blind mm-hmm. or even yeah. if you're just spotting and stalking which is very down convenient down. oh my god very gosh. convenient love mm-hmm. that you know because especially like like you know elk hunting for example you know you're calling you're, you're glassing you just put your bow and it stands by yeah. itself that's yes. just which yeah. is awesome oh but yeah. everything yeah. goes that way and you have to yeah. keep that in mind too huh but everything does add weight, and you have to keep that in mind too. Yeah, right. And that, those aren't. But those too are those are little those carbon are really fiber. And those, yeah, and the legs, sense. the legs well, we did weigh learn nothing. Little Loctite or little, you know, bow wax, putting threads because right. sometimes we were losing. Remember, they yep. were getting loose. So you know, always put something in those threads to hold that tight because you know when. Because we don't baby our equipment. No, we're kind of rough on it. Just like everybody else, man. We <laughs> just, yeah, we just in. go. It's a tool. <laughs> we just go, and, and so are we. We're tools. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Yeah, and there goes that train track. Oh, yeah, yep. so. see, I knew that was gonna well. Let's happen. get back yeah. on the track. Yeah. Okay, let's, come let's on, go back. Okay, oh Dwayne choo, asks choo. favorite species to hunt. All around. Yep, I think so. I think that's what he's asking. Oh, okay. So when we get <laughs> asked that question, Ralph and I actually both kind of usually give the same answer. So I'm sorry if this is going to seem like the same answer. It's <laughs> not necessarily species, but places. Northwoods? Yeah. In the woods, mountains, fresh air, away from people. You know what I mean? We like our whitetails. I'm not saying we don't like our deer hunting. We love our deer hunting. We love our deer hunting. But we really, when we started and we started going up to the Yukon and to Alaska and then coming, you know, and 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 out west here in Colorado and hunting elk and stuff like that, growing up with only (laughs) whitetails. And then you come out here or else you go and hunt moose or bears way up north. I know a lot of people that think you guys live in Canada. (laughs) Yeah, I know. Actually, there's a lot of people that thought we did live in Canada and they probably Mm -hmm. still do. We don't. We live in Colorado now. Used to live in Illinois. We love Canada, though. (laughs) Never lived in Canada. But honestly, it's, I mean, if you had to pick my favorite, which we finally got to go back bear hunting this spring, my two favorite is usually, and I haven't gone moose hunting for a while, is I love moose hunting and bear hunting. Bear hunting is different because predator teeth claws. I mean, like this past spring, um, we were up in Saskatchewan and I shot my bear and and it was a beautiful bear and I was all excited about it. But dad had, Ralph had um, that one bear coming at like eight yards. Like there's an adrenaline. Feet, eight feet, eight feet, 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 feet. Yeah, yeah. sorry, feet, feet. <laughs> but there's an adrenaline rush sitting yeah. in a ground blind and bears and claws. It's a predator. Mm-hmm. It's a predator. It's, just yeah, like it's a different you feeling. You know, oh, yeah. but, but I think it's moose also for me because, again, it's where it's at. You know, it's up north, whether it's even in Newfie, you mm-hmm. know, like at Efforts where you're going to go yeah. this fall, which is going to be awesome. And then... um. Like up in the Yukon, heck, even hunting moose with fern up in Ontario. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of where you're at. And it's something, it's about their smell and when they're rutting, which sounds stupid. But, and it's the fact that they're so big. Yeah. And when you hunt them and when you get super close, like when we're hunting them with our Hoyts, like that just, there's an adrenaline rush there. I mean, we've had them close. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
I think, you know, Vicky nailed it. it it's, I put it a little simpler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of rambled a little absolutely, bit, absolutely, sorry. <laughs> absolutely no phone service. Yes. I don't, I don't want a phone. I don't want to hear a vehicle. Um, you know, I love my elk hunting. Mm -hmm. Always have, mm -hmm. always will. You know, elk, moose, when, when they're in the rut, when, you know, when you're, you're able to get a responsive um, reaction from an animal. You, you, you know what I mean? And we can Gloria. do that with the moose, too. Yep. I think that's part of it that's also. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. You get them in you know a zombie I mean? mode. Yeah, you get them yeah. in a zombie they mode and they just start rolling just, their heads. You know, it's, you know how many that's people just cool. love turkey hunting? You know, they call and all of a sudden they get a gobble and it, yeah. it, it lights up their day. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same thing, you know, with elk or moose, but <laughs> add a thousand pounds or, you know, <laughs> 600. Yeah. And, and I just like that. You, you know, I've always liked that. And I, I like, um, you know, I it used to, my answer used to be spot and stalk anything, mm -hmm. even hogs, you know, because you, you make <laughs> it happen. As you get older, you start going, <laughs> you know, I wonder if I can hang a tree stand at this water hole to shoot an elk. <laughs> you, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> you can. Yes, and you <laughs> can. But uh, no, I. I and I can mean, I get a I hold just, of RJ to come pack it out? Yeah, yeah. That's yes. why we yes. got this big galoot. Yes. Um, you know you, what? You made the comment about you like to hunt where there's like no phone, cell phones. I actually just bought him a sign when we were at Bass Pro the other day, and it basically it oh. just says, "I like to be where the people aren't." Yes, that's fitting. That describes you to it. It's just a little metal sign is really cute tea. and i'm like i bought it just for him yep <laughs> he's like yeah yeah he's like oh god yeah. i'm gonna it? take the fifth down yeah. the rest of the conversation mm -hmm. what about you? yes what's your favorite species to hunt rj i don't know if i have a favorite i mean at the, at the time i would hunt like, nine, five, like five years ago you guys know i was predators i love yep bears absolutely coyotes all of it like i didn't, I didn't do a ton of it. it yeah i wasn't mm -hmm. i love deer especially now that i'm learning more about learning the game how they work habitat yeah, yeah everything yeah. that goes into it um but i i gotta say now elk yeah I cannot. look at yep. you i like i like moose i like, hey, predator, I like, moose. I like elk i like wow. that i like you bears haven't bow hunted but moose i yet. love elk that's fair that's true that yep. is but fair. at the moment at i got the, the moment elk it's elk i got well, the elk it changes bug. it's okay it changes you <laughs> yep. know I mean, awesome. you still got plenty of years to figure this out. You know, I mean, you, heck, you're 22 going on 23 years old. You know, you have been blessed to and yes. spoiled rotten also Very. to hunt a bunch of different critters all already. But deserving. But, but deserving, Amazing. yes. And I mean, you've been hunting. Heck, you shot your first hog when we were with Hoppy at like almost five almost years five, old. Yeah. Almost five. <laughs> you know, so I mean, you've been doing this for Couple a long years. time. And, Happy but, looked old then, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> ouch, ouch. Wow. But you know, I mean, but you've grown, you're right, because for a while there, it was just predators. It's all you wanted yep. to do was <laughs> predators. So, I mean, and you're still got so much to learn, but you're doing a great job. And we love it. We're proud of you. We are Both so proud of you. Of you, you, you know, know and Aubrey, and that leads to you. I, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're, a, you're, you're a new hunter. Absolutely new. Yep. You know what I mean? A few few years under your belt now. And honestly, a, a lot of game. Oh, so we're yeah. proud of you. It's kind yes. of crazy to think back. It, it's all. hard to ask that because so yeah. much is new. Mm -hmm. But so far, out of everything you've done, what's sort of been your peak? Okay, so it's kind of a tie with two. Either my mule deer that I, I shot. That, I, that I mean, come on. I knew the mule on. deer was coming too. Or um, the alligator with my boo. That oh, was okay. just okay. an okay. adrenaline rush set. All right. So Those are two drastically yes, different hunts yes. too. Yes. So yeah, I different. waited to go. I waited to yes. go with my bow. I wanted to see how it reacted, and hers didn't react at all. No. Yes. And so when I was up, it was, it was it crazy. turned into the, right. a regular yeah. yes. bow hunt gator. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You didn't mm -hmm. understand it at was the just time crazy. because I mean that was the first time you're out there hunting gators. And when I shot my gator with Hoppy, mm -hmm. it it, didn't. it was so old it's and just skinny. Yeah. It didn't and I mean it was a big just gator, like, just but kept, yeah. Yeah. Just he didn't move. He was like, yeah. You know, and yeah, then, yeah. Was like, just and, take me out. And, and then when Aubrey got her shot at it, he went like he's supposed to go. Starts rolling. Rolling and thrashing. And honestly, you were a little like, I don't want to say like what I was, the word? I, you were a little, well, were a little panicked. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. 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 We were yeah, expecting and, to learn from yours, but. Right. And so then <laughs> when yours went that way, you kind of thought, oh, crap, I did something wrong. And you yeah. didn't and do then anything I kept wrong. Yeah. Putting like a couple more arrows into him. I'm well, like, oh, my God, I don't want to like hurt this thing. Well, he broke and, your lines yeah. twice yes. for the bobbers. First and trying the bobbers, the buoys. killing him. And I, yeah. Well, I know I didn't want him to, sorry, sorry. No, I yeah, didn't want him to that. suffer. I didn't want him to yeah, suffer. Right. Right. Like, yep. My goal was to kill him, but yeah, I didn't want him to suffer. You got, right. you, you remember, it, I mean, it's probably one of the most or closest prehistoric creatures. Yeah. 
on our planet today. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, they're just, it's a giant reptile, mm-hmm. and it's whole, it actually probably moves like Leo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Who left the building? Oh, there I don't know where you go. Yeah. Hey, they can get up and move, though. They're oh, not they something can. to mess around with. Especially yeah. when they want to we come had, up on the ground. How about with us? when we've called them on the ground? Huh? Yeah, that was crazy. Mm-hmm. And they come up and they lift their bodies up and they walk. It's That's eerie. All right. Well, following that question, though, I want to ask specifically, because oh. we're talking about whitetails, this, this show, <laughs> even know, though we're not. I know. We're yeah, we're talking about every train tracks are, are, yeah. always go off. Those train tracks are miles away at this yeah. point. Yeah. We're never going to make it to the station. We'll kind, of, we'll kind of start going back. What's your guys' favorite place to hunt whitetails? Personally, I would say my number two is close to is Illinois. I love back at home, especially now, like we just said, is we're learning it. Back I'm in Illinois, it. home's here. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. That's my bad. Right. Yeah. My bad. Um. But I really like Montana river bottoms. Oh, okay. that's true. I, I forgot. That. Yeah, that's right. We were up there with Jeff. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So favorite place to hunt whitetails. So there's a long story, but I'll make it really, really short. <clears throat> I would have no to way. say my favorite place to, no, my favorite place to hunt whitetails would have to be here in Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, cause, <laughs> because hmm. my biggest buck I, I shot here in Colorado, in eastern Colorado over by the Arkansas River. <laughs> I can't, I mean, what else can I say? I mean, he was because huge. I so... I would just leave it at that. But anyways, yes, um, we've always hunted whitetails at home because that's where our, in Illinois, sorry, I just pulled you. See? Um, Illinois, me. because we've always, we were able just to walk out our front door, or our back door and hunt whitetails. Mm-hmm. And we had some good deer around the area and stuff. And we still have those areas, which we'll Thanks be heading there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we'll be Dean. heading there in November and we can, or later October in November. So we can't wait for that. That's mm-hmm. going to be exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, I would say gosh, you know, we don't hunt there anymore, but North Dakota used to be my favorite. That was hard to beat. With yeah, the with David and John and with Double, Double B, B Outfitters, and, mm-hmm. and they shut down and they don't outfit anymore. But man, they had, some, they had <clears throat> their deer bodies were over 300 pounds, field oh, yeah. dressed hanging. They were massive. They had a scale. Even we could hit okay? them. Okay. You're talking like, like if you see like the big mule deer we have yeah. walking around here, oh, those yeah. giant bodies, but they were whitetails. Hmm. Mm-hmm. They were just... That's huge. Cool. That one year we had with Tom Gallagher, and all three of us had deer over three hundred yep. pounds hanging, field dressed, That's and they crazy. had a scale, and we weighed them. Three eleven. I mean, I'll never forget that. Buck. They were their bodies are so big that you would Ooh. think that their antlers were small, yeah. but they weren't. <gasps> oh, he's huh. massive. You can't even. Ex- it, That's cool. And good His eating brisket too. was. I, I never seen a deer like yeah. that. When he came in, and you, and he I think just that was the thick. only. Well, besides oh, yeah. that, and up in up in Canada, you know, and uh, you know, actually on the northern border. You know, of the United States and Canada, um, you know, you run into deer that actually don't have ground shrinkage as you walk up to them after you shoot right. them. They like get bigger. Yeah. You're bigger. like, holy moly. You walk closer, it's just That's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, because you yeah. judged them on the body. Yeah. And yeah. if, you know, let, let's say you're from down south, say you're down by Hoppies in Florida. Oh. You, you're judging a deer <laughs> or in Texas where you're judging Georgia, you know, some of the states that have smaller, yeah. you know, body yeah. range. <laughs> You're judging a deer. You go, oh, man, you know, wow, that's a big deer. When you walk up to it, you know, you pick it up with two hands and you throw it on your shoulders. It weighs 100 pounds instead of 200 pounds like in Illinois, you know. Not when you, you know, some of those deer up north, they're like, you walk up and you go, that deer's. 300 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I I somebody else might be rolling over. Inch deer. He's 168 inch deer. (laughs) You know what I mean? And it happened often. That's cool. It really did. So Um, neat. So where would be your favorite place? I mean, I kind of bounced all over the place. I mean, Kansas, you shot your biggest deer in Kansas. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't think I have a favorite whitetail spot. I don't. Okay. I lo- I, you know, when you're there, it's my favorite. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> it really is. Um, and I think I always I say this often, especially now, as you get older. As you get older. Yep. You, <laughs> It's more about the experience and the people, yeah. you know, with you oh, yeah. guys, having you guys now with us, you, you yes. know, hell, I'd rather watch you guys, you, you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And watch you guys smile and laugh and, and cry and do it all. And, and, um, yeah, just and share it's it the all people that we share camps with. Yep. Yeah. You, you, That's you what makes I mean? it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I wish we would get off what it scores yep. yeah. and, and, and actually, you know, value the experience mm-hmm. and and you know you, you know what oh, I mean? and, and, and all the the camaraderie at the camps and yeah. it, it, when you're on your own it's 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 just not as fun mm-hmm. you, you know what i mean mm-hmm. um you know going with dr chris 
that yes. we had a blast. Yeah, last fall when we you know, down in Alabama. Yeah. You know, when we go hunt deer in Florida. Or Kentucky. Kentucky, you know, with Lisa. And yeah, I mean, all of the different things just bring back each, you know, the different memories. So And then again, Illinois with Dean now. Yep. Of you course. Know? I mean, yeah. that's that's just something that we do now. So mm-hmm. I don't think I have a favorite. I really don't. That's I fair. like it all. You don't have to have a favorite. No, no, no. you can like them all. I like going, like you know, like and, going and to a smorgasbord. <laughs> yeah, a smorgasbord. <laughs> you, you, doesn't matter where you're going. You just pack up your bow and you go. Or you go. So, so Aubrey, what's your favorite place to hunt whitetails? I've only ever, only ever been to Illinois and so. yeah. Florida. <laughs> oh, you shot a deer in Florida. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Illinois probably. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I didn't, I killed a doe. I thought you oh, loved Florida. Gonna be upset I, okay, with the sorry. I take it back. I love Florida. I love Florida. Don't kiss butt now, man. You just hurt. You hurt Hoppy. Hoppy and Susan don't hate all me, Hoppy. Crush, sage and case. Don't hate they're, just, me. they're probably <laughs> crying. I hope you feel uh, really miserable right now. Up. See? Damn. I'm sorry. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. See? It's just because yeah. of the heat, though, right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Okay. Sure. No, I don't like the humidity. Sure. But yeah, it'd probably be Illinois, even though I only killed a doe there and had a hard time last year during the fall. So, yeah. But That's everybody okay. goes through ready. it. Don't yeah. worry. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take revenge. Shoot this year, more. Okay. Shoot off. I am. Do revenge. I am. Buck fever. Okay. Okay. This is not a question. This is kind of just a statement from Uh-oh. Lee. I love to hear the background of the hunt, the story, the entertainment. In recent years, I enjoy the getting ready, preparing for the hunt. I like to know what other people are doing and how they prepare. Good. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spot okay. on, Lee. Honestly, we all do. I, you know, I, I, and I, I think you're right. Again, it adds to that whole adventure, the whole, you know, the camaraderie, you know, getting ready, just like we're talking deer, you know, whether you're doing food plots, whether you're just trying to put your, you know, your trail cameras out and read sign and, mm-hmm. and learn their stands. habits and hang different move stands. Believe it or not, I really enjoy moving sets. Be, it, it's, it's like it's, it's that chess game. Mm-hmm. It, it, you, you, know, you know what I mean? Um, you know, as far as. You know, what we do, I think we speak on behalf of the majority of the people listening or watching. This isn't something we do the week before season. We no. live this 24 mm-hmm. 7. Right. Right? I mean, oh, yeah. we got our spy points, cellulars out in Illinois at Dean's, yep. and we're seeing what's going on, and we're, we're trying to say, some velvet oh, bugs. Mm-hmm. right. There's and we made cool notes ones. every year we've hunted. Mm-hmm. We're like, we got to. We got to move that stand, just like yeah. that one where you yeah. guys. You we we said we wanted to put it in that damn tree. We didn't, and we should have. <laughs> sure enough, yep. And and so you know, I, I think th- the strategies and the games that you play are a huge part of what what it leads into. Mm-hmm. You know, and and I and they'll tell you I'm a a big proponent of shoot. We have to shoot more. Yes. We mm-hmm. have to shoot more. Whether it's muscle memory. Yep. 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 And and you know the the more you do that, the more I think helps you to become more successful in that multi second decision yeah. of pull through or sque- you, you know what I mean mm-hmm. or squeeze the trigger. Yeah. Uh, when everything else is going on, you, say you have a doe, even a doe coming in or a buck coming in, and everything else is going on, and maybe the wind is blowing kind of over the trail and you're in the whole time you're thinking in your head i got to get a shot off before it hits that trail and so you have all that going on in your head and the last thing you want to think about is okay draw my bow back anchor my bow pick i mean you always need to pick a spot yeah. always yeah. pick a spot mm-hmm. but all that should come second nature from shooting so much you know what mm-hmm. i mean so yeah. then all you're worrying about is trying to make sure that you can make a good shot at that point Execute. and that's yeah yep. and yep. the other thing is also is like the fun thing about getting ready also for whitetails is you like to go out and put out mock scrapes too. Yeah, I do. I like creating things to hopefully make them, you know, put, you know, creating. Um, hi, you, Captain. Hi, He's Captain. So happy. <laughs> you know, we hang brush. We attach it to different trees, or you know, a, a different stake, and you know, we create scrapes. So, mm-hmm. or you know, areas that they're gonna come to more often and hopefully those areas are where you know we're set up and and understanding the winds and everything again it's it's like throw putting a jigsaw puzzle on the table you, you know what i mean no, yeah. the pieces. each piece you start to put together and you start to see it's, something you yeah. go wow it's coming yeah, together it's coming yeah. together yeah. all nicely so, so you know again I, I wished i could tell you what state i don't it, it's state of mind <laughs> yeah okay there you go okay mike 
asks, have you ever picked up a track of a whitetail and been successful while tracking him? Good question. Um, I can tell you no. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I can tell you I've I've tracked them to go find bedding areas. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? And I don't necessarily know if I shot that buck, but I did shoot, a, you know, the deer that that I didn't know where they were bedding mm -hmm. and following that. But I can't cannot tell you it was specifically that deer on that hoof print. You, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a great thing because I, I know I beat this up. We need to become better woodsmen mm -hmm. and wo woodswomen. Okay? <laughs> yes. No, woods we, people. We, do. Woods people. We, we, we get so dependent upon products commercial products when if we would really start to pay attention and learn more about reading sign mm -hmm. you know and tracking just like he asked you know tracking and going back and going holy cow you know just like these elk you know we're finding where they're betting now we're finding yeah. all these yeah. and we're doing these routes and we're starting to see what they do just getting out there and looking yeah. you'll right. find everything you know and read it mm -hmm. you know every animal leaves they leave a sign mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so that's what I would tell you. I I recommend what, or I, I highly approve what you're asking because you know they're like you go out east and up north. You know they look at fern. Well, the big timber fern backtracks <laughs> moose. Yeah, or, you know are not backtracks. He follows moose up in the bush, and you know during the, the, yeah. the late season, and him him and his brother. They shoot moose like that in the snow. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. and guys yeah. do cool. that. That's you cool. know on the northeast for deer. Mm, they that, do. Yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so have we? Ha, couldn't tell you that we, but we've used the sign to locate game. But I couldn't tell you it was the same deer. <laughs> That's fair. Will Will deer come back after they smell you? Ah, huh, good question. I think it all depends on the deer ter territory where they're from and the pressure. Yep. Good. Okay. Good example. If you're hunting urban deer, they're used to human odor. Mm -hmm. yep. you, you know yeah. what I mean. A deer, any animal, you know, lives. We, we used to think such a large area, and right. they don't. They're, it's a smaller area. And they grow up four, five, six years old in the same thing. They know where their favorite restaurant is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Food source. Yeah. They know where their favorite bar is, yeah. and they know where their favorite hotel is. They know that. Well, if you intercept them somehow and spook them some way, somehow, in that given routine— that they've done for four, five, six years of their li entire lives. Do you think that they leave? I don't. We have we've we, we've seen right. it year after year. Mm -hmm. They don't leave, but they find the next easiest accessible route to go to that favorite restaurant, to go to that favorite motel, hotel, or go to that favorite bar. So in case you don't understand that, that's food, cover, water. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just yeah. Sure. In case anyone yeah. didn't get by, that, I, I was following. In case you didn't figure things. that out, food, cover, water. That one. Yep. yep. You, you know what I mean? So, so, I, you know, they, do they become smarter? Absolutely. And do they, will, you know, in a certain areas, will they look up? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will. Because when they got alarmed, something didn't, wasn't right. But do you think he left? No, I do not. So here's the other thing, too, is when you think about it, when we're hunting deer and we're in tree stands, and you and I have, we're always like, oh, gosh. Because all of a sudden you'll hear, you'll hear something blow. Oh. You'll hear one of the deer blow. And they're like, that's it. Oh. They smelled us. Done. And you're like, dang it. But sometimes it's not us. <laughs> sometimes coyote. there's a coyote or something else is going on. Oh, yeah, we've had that where the coyote just comes running across the field and yeah. you're like, yes. oh. It wasn't me and that stank. Oh, great. Yep. Yes. So, I mean, that that's the thing is is that. They just sit in the timber and watch it. And they, yeah. yep. and they sit and they wait to see yep. what's going to happen. Sometimes you have that one doe, though. Oh, oh yeah. That just yeah. It just stands there. And I just hate that. Blows. She must be a target for you. you, yes. you know, yes. Yes. She's, yes. That old miserable wench. The yeah. One that, <laughs> I hate There's that. There's always oh, yeah. that one. I hate that. Oh, yeah. you, know? you don't want her to pass that gene down. No. 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 Especially when she no. comes in watching that stand. Freezer yeah. queen. Yeah. And you're it's like, like, oh, it's like, yeah, go let me away. Just, Freezer queen. Yeah. 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 Freezer yeah. queen. Yes. Yeah. So that kind of. We make some shirts like that. There probably is one. I don't know. That kind of leads into like the next question. You guys already covered it. Um, Is your hunt over if a deer blows? No. No. Nope. Yeah. You don't know no. what deer it was. Exactly. You, and you yeah. don't know why it's blowing. That exactly. doe could have, or that deer could have been pushed from your neighbor. Uh -huh. you, you know what I mean? And comes in, it's going and whoosh, blowing because the wind was switched for them or, or mm -hmm. whatever. No, mm -hmm. no. Don't ever think it's over. No. Okay. What attracts whitetail deer the most? Pardon me? What, what attracts, attracts? whitetail deer the most? Ooh. 
I, that's a hard one because it depends. So like growing up in Illinois, we're not we were not allowed to put anything out. Like you can't go and put a feeder out there. You can't put mineral licks mm-hmm. out there or anything like that. Because in some states you can. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> some places you could say, yeah, I can put a corn feeder up and they love it, or I can put protein feeder out and they love it, or I can use this kind of salt lick or this mineral and it's good for them, which it is, mm-hmm. but they love it. But growing up in Illinois and hunting in Illinois, we couldn't do any of that. We so don't you have, have any your experience food plots. With right. So you can have your food plots out there. Sort. Right. So you have your food plots. I mean, clover is a thing. If you can put it in a food plot, clover is a You're big thing. Food it. cover and water. I know what it no, is. Not, what? None of that. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> what is it? Bucks, when I say it? When I say it, mom, watch mom's face. Oh, you're no. Gonna, you're, acorns. Okay, yes. I was thinking man-made things. <laughs> I wasn't uh, thinking. Acorns. You're right. I'm no, acorns. You're stuff. right. Yeah. No, you're White right. White oaks and everything, when they drop, I don't care He's where you- He's my yin to my yang. I don't, <laughs> no, but right? I, <laughs> no, I don't you're care right. where you are. I'm yep. up in the mountains here. We have acorns. Mm-hmm. What are they? What are mm-hmm. they go to them. eating right? Oh, yeah. Right? The bears are eating big time right now. Dang. Acorns. Acorns. If, if I could, I'd like just a giant stand of white oaks. Mm-hmm. You, you know <laughs> there what I mean? you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah it, you'd be you, set. Know, you don't have to have a whole lot of land, Mm-mm. but you have to have the right habitat. Yep. And white oaks. Yeah, baby. You know what <laughs> I mean? Try fertilizing those trees a little better. You, you know what I mean? Try to keep them as great as possible. Trim around them. Let them have all the growth. None, none of small little trees choking them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's to <laughs> me is acorns. 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 Acorn. <laughs> How long should you sit in one spot deer hunting? Good question. Um, however long your patience and the wind is providing, Allows. you know, understanding. I, I think if, if you get, you, you, you have your favorite tree stand, you climb into it, the wind shifts, I think you should get out of it. Really, because if you've done your homework, you know where they're traveling, you know, their travel routes and everything. And if the wind's blowing to where they're coming from, you're hurting yourself. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I you know, t- to sit in a, in a stand that everything is optimum, everything is, you know, in your favor. Yep. As long as you can without fidgeting. <laughs> really. You know, like early season, give me my thermosel because yeah. this is the worst thing yeah. you could be doing. You know, yeah. 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 You know doing all this and next yeah. thing. Make a lot they of just, movement. Their peripheral vision is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. They caught some movement, even if they don't know what it is, they're gone. So, so if you can just sit as still as possible, be as calm, and just really, you know, evaluate everything as, as long as you possibly can without fidgeting. Okay. As long as the wind and all the conditions are right. Yep. Mm-hmm. And legal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legal. Yeah. And, and legal. Yeah. yeah. Whatever but, the and, shooting times are. That's so fair. if you were to let, let me go on one more further step on that. Go for it. In Illinois, we had stands that we never moved. Right. So when you're talking about the length oh, yeah. of how long, maybe you got to look at it that way also. Sometimes as long as you don't blow that stand and the deer don't realize you're there. I mean, we had some stands there in Illinois that we hunted year after Years. year after sure. year. After, I mean, obviously we go out every year, make sure everything's safe. Maintain, you know, make maintain sure you the li- Maintain yes. the stand. Yeah. Yep. For safe trees, in everything and stuff else. Like that. Yeah. Rush. Trim everything out and stuff but like that. But the actual that. spot. But there's some spots. I mean, we used to have. Year after year. Yeah. Well, I mean, good example. You walk in a piece of woods and you see that old two by four wood. Yeah. You know, yeah. Falling together apart. And you look at it and go, oh my gosh. That should tell you there's a reason why that stands there. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? It's a telltale yeah. sign. It's an old book saying, man, there was deer movement here. Yeah. You know, so start checking around. Yeah. But don't climb up it. <laughs> no, <laughs> you no, know, don't do that. Yeah, that's no. probably not a Grab good your call. hunter safety system if you're going to do anything. You know what I mean? And yep. hang one next to it if you can. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, and I think the other thing is, is uh, location. When I say that is, you know, if you're hunting a more urban area um, where, you know, or farm area where ant, the, your deer are used to human presence, right? Yep. Um, you know, you could get away with more than going up to, you know, with Shane and them up in Alberta hunting yep. whitetails and, and you're, you're hunting an area that... And those deer are not used to human scent no. at all. <laughs> you, you, you no. I mean? yeah. so, so each different, you know, application is different compared to where you're hunting. You know, a lot of these, we know a lot of hunters that hunt um, very close proximity to these private subdivisions. Yeah. I mean, literally hunting in people's backyards yeah. because they're having issues with such, you know, over, over deer population, um, you know, and they're hunting in backyards. 
And these deer are not afraid of human being no, at all. At all. Like your best camo is, you know, wearing a l- landscaper's one piece yeah. suit. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, right? but you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, yeah. just. Oh. So, so, you know, or I, if you're I think the farmer out there and oh. the tractor, you know, yeah. these guys got diesel smell on their clothes, oh. everything else like that. You could ride out with one of them farmers to your stand. Do it. And, yeah, they and wouldn't even. They wouldn't those deer won't even twice. Care. We've done it multiple done times. It. Yes. And you could drive right by them in a tractor. They but don't you care. Drove, you walk by them, they're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you drive a, a vehicle that they're not used, used to, to seeing, doesn't sound the same, <laughs> they're gone. Crazy. And here's another question. And this, this has been one for a long time. What are your thoughts on urine? You got to pee in the stand or in the blind or wherever it is. Do you think it bothers them all? <laughs> for, for years, I, I carried a jug. A jug? Huh. And I don't think you need a jug. No? Just. I don't think so. I, I, I really <laughs> don't think so. Did you ever watch the old videos, Barry Winslow? He opens up one of his movies, and it's, it's right off the bat. He's talking about peeing out of the stands. He's almost peed on deer before. All this oh, other uh, stuff. Yeah. And, and like, Barry oh, and Gene, I, I, I mean, th- those guys are incredible. You know, mm-hmm. they, oh, they, they. I've watched all their movies. It's, it's October hilarious. October White Tails. Awesome. If you've never seen that video, you, oh my gosh, you've got to see it. It's just. Mm-hmm. That, it's old school. Oh, it's old. Oh, school. Yeah. It's old school, <laughs> but I mean, you know what? If you follow some of the stuff that they say, look how successful you're going to be successful. Oh yeah, look you how know? successful. Yeah, I don't think pee scares them at all. Do you think it's any animal, like even bears, coyotes, something like that? What do you think? I haven't seen it. Haven't. Have not seen it bother anything. To be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. It's just you ammonia. Know. It's just that's yeah. exactly. I went through all the crap growing up. I did. You Man, tried I, everything. I, I stopped. I stopped eating meat, thinking, the oh, you know, because before. I read this yeah. stupid article about how our pee sound, smells. You know, as a human, you smell different as a oh predator. And so I, I didn't. Yeah, for oh three months before deer season, I oh, didn't dang. eat meat. Yeah, what a stupid move that was because <laughs> it didn't. My success didn't increase at all. No, so and I, I was starving. It was stupid. I was starving. But it was during wrestling season, so it worked out. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. But, but, no, no, but but no, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah no, no. Mm. I, I think I think within and I, I'm no scientist, no biologist, but I think in a very short period of time it, it just it's gone. You, you, you know what I mean? It, there's nothing to it <laughs> that I have witnessed. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, those are all the questions I had written down, so I don't know if you got any that you want to ask just off the top of your head. I mean, okay, well, I've been asking all the questions. What do you, over the years, and I, I kind of really answered this question already, but what do you prefer, tree stands or ground blinds in late fall, whitetail hunts? Like Illinois. Are you talking rut or are you talking rut. Yep, rut. tree Let's stands? Go with it. I like Anything. tree stands. I think your visibility you can see is more. increased, even mm-hmm. with the newer blinds where they have that new mesh and everything. Um, just I, being I, up above. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I really think I agree. up above um, just gives you a, a better perspective. Yep. Um, and you feel more in touch. Yep. Does that make sense? Well, you feel the you wind. Can feel you the feel, wind. Yeah. You can smell things a little bit more. Too. And you yeah. can see 360 around. Well, yeah. except for where the tree's at. But yeah, You can definitely move yeah. more in blinds, which... Help for right. cameramen and everything. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, because now you're eating snacks. <laughs> yeah, or so, yeah, especially when you eat snacks. Have loud bags that you like to open. <laughs> yeah. In the blind. Hey, here's a tip you for you: if you if y'all snacks. like to eat, you know, in the blind or in a tree stand, <laughs> you bring in your lunch. Take everything out of the listen, regular listen, wrappers and put them in Ziploc bags. You'd right. be amazed at how much quieter they are. I'm just yeah, just saying like it out crinkle. there. I think I'm set in my ways. Oh no! I think yeah. I have to bring a bag of chips and just just, just out of just, spite uh, for me to get you. Yeah. Okay, I'm letting you know right now. Go, if you ever film and you open up a bag like that, and we're hunting something, and you're filming with me, I will push you out of the stand. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't plan so on I doing it. That she's going to okay. swing it's from her harness. It's only Archie. It's only It's like a tether ball. That's all I care about. Just bothering him. I won't bother you guys. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, here, he doesn't care. Here, he here's goes, I think the other th- you know, again, deer hunting, folks. We w- really want to make this point, and that is, if you are going up in a tree stand, yes. a ladder stand, a hang on stand, uh, even a climber, please get stay attached. You, you, you know what I mean? No, right. I just. We, yeah. we are every year we're hearing more and more people falling, yep. not being attached, climbing or, or whatever, getting in a stand, you know, climbing. They go and I, oh, they put they put their steps and then they still have to step up into the tree stand. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. How wrong that is that your steps should go above your stand. So you step down into your stand, yep. mm-hmm. you know, and you should have your lifeline be attached all the time. 
you know, we, we want to see you get home to your family and, and not have that damn phone call. Oh, my gosh. You, you know, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hunters, the age of the average hunter is obviously getting older. Getting older. Yeah. And back in the day, heck, when I first started hunting with you, like – all you had was a waist belt. You didn't yeah. have the harness. And then they realized, well, that's not really good because if you have yeah. that, you fall, yeah. you're top Chokes heavy, and, oh my gosh, and, you, yeah. and you basically are hanging upside down yeah. and yeah. you're done. Yeah. They've done so much research. And again, it's like 80-something percent of all tree stand accidents happen getting into and out of your tree stand. It's not falling asleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, you would think that that's what it is, but it's not. It's getting into and out of that tree Crazy. stand. And you just... So many things can go wrong. There's oh, so yeah. many things that can it's go better wrong. safe than sorry. And, you know, you don't have to go and buy an, an, an expensive harness you don't i mean almost all the tree stands nowadays and boxes have just a simple one obviously like hunter safety system they have some some great ones also that aren't as expensive as like the whole the top line one that i like with the pockets and the whole nine yards yeah but the thing is is they've done the research mm-hmm. they know mm-hmm. what you need in the technology but don't cheap that out. you need well they but created yeah. the yes yeah but if you're gonna say well i can't afford it and i don't do it then use the one in the box Yep. Because here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you think you can survive it. It doesn't matter if you don't think anyone can. You have friends and family at home that want to see you again. They don't want to find out that you didn't have a harness on, that you weren't connected from the ground up because you are something to someone in this world. It doesn't yes. matter what you think, but you are. And on that same note, <laughs> let someone know where you're hunting. If you're hunting by yeah. yourself, yep. let them know. You know, this is kind of a funny and off, off topic also, but... When RJ turned 16, we got 360 on our phone. Life it's an app, Live 360. Not a sponsor, obviously, at all. <laughs> but we got it because he started driving to school. At the time, we were eight miles from school, yep. and he would drive to school For every safety. day. And when we were traveling on the road, we wanted to make sure he was okay or whatever else. It's kind of come full circle. Now we kind of use it to see where Ralph is at, just to make <laughs> sure he's okay. When he's putting in food plots and stuff, just to make sure... That his phone She's is still moving, moving on the tractor or whatever. And we seriously, we use it a lot. We do. Same thing. A few years back, we did the same thing. We were hunting BC bears. And yep. Ken and I, we were already by the area where we're going to leave and get onto the highway. And we had talked to Ralph and Jeff earlier after he had shot a bear. And they said, well, they're going to leave it till the morning. And we sat there and waited for 30, 40 minutes and they didn't come out. And Ken's like, I wonder where they're at. And I'm like, wait a second. So now they call it my mommy app. And so does Rob and RK. <laughs> it's my mommy app because I can pull it up and I'll be like, well, this was the last place he was. Mm-hmm. And they go, and Ken, oh, Ken okay. was like, I know where they're at. Let's yeah. go. And we end up meeting you guys. Yep. You guys had your last load out. They decided to take it out because it was kind of a crazy place for where he shot that bear. Yeah. But, and we have used it also at R&K mm-hmm. in Wyoming, elk hunting. Yeah, figuring Not, out where we're at. It comes in just, handy. It, it, it does come <laughs> in handy, but it's really more of a safety issue yeah. because yep. then you yeah. know. Yep. You just know that you're okay. And again, it's it's for your family and it's for your friends. You may not think that you need to worry about it, but you should. And I just want to reiterate what Vicky said is, you know, no matter what harness you're using, get a lifeline. Absolutely. Attach that from the above your stand to below and use a lifeline climbing in and out because, like she said, 80-some percent of your accidents are done getting in or getting out. You know, if you're if you're hunting a regular hang-on stand and you don't have a strap down on the base, mm-hmm. a lot of those stands will kick out. And when they yeah. kick out, if you're not attached, you're going down. Mm-hmm. So, please, a lifeline is is exactly what it says. And, and, and honestly, it's not even a – you could be as safe as you want to be getting in and out. And like you just said, the stand kick a cop could kick out, but things can happen just in general. You yep. could have checked that mm-hmm. stand right before season and then you get in there and something else happened. Well, the squirrel maybe, chewed maybe a squirrel strap. chewed on the strap yeah. or oh, something yeah. like that. And you go put your foot on there. It's gone. And you're down. Oof. Yep. I mean, it's just attached. Really... At least you're not hitting the ground. Right. Right. You have a chance to go ahead and yeah, you might get a little bruised. But mm-hmm. you're going to go ahead. You can swing yourself back around, yep. get onto those sticks or the steps or whatever it is you use to get up in there and be safe and be able to return home safely. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think the other thing, you know, as as we cl- wrapping up like deer, mm-hmm. um, first, we want everyone to be safe. We want everyone to enjoy the season and we want you to share it with, you know, just this year. Take someone out that doesn't maybe has never had the opportunity or someone that you know has hunted and not had success for many years right bring them out share that you know share that hunt with them you know and and maybe teach them to be a better woodsman you know learn and and the, the animal's habitat better and and habits um 
And at the bottom line, stop worrying about the damn score mm-hmm. and, and yeah. put, put, put the value on the experience, yep. you know, and the people you're sharing it with. Yep. And share the meat. Yep. If it trips yeah. your trigger. Share the meat. Huh? Share the if it meat. trips your trigger. Yep. That's right. Yes. That's what we've always said. Yep. yep. Yeah. Doesn't if matter. If you're happy what it with is. it, don't care about it. And what's else. what's the Shit. other one? Like when you're when when you're on a hunt, don't pass up the first, first day, day what, what you, you wouldn't, wouldn't pass the last. or shoot. Yep, you the last. Mm-hmm. Because it will bite you in the booty. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm just saying. Big time. Oh yeah. Yes. I think we've all been there. Bird in the hand. <laughs> yep. It's much better. There's no better, healthier meat. Than fresh wild game, absolutely. That you've taken mm-hmm. because, boy, Whew. it's a renewable resource that God gave us the the honor and the privilege to experience, witness, and to share and to yep. manage. Yep, to manage. Mm-hmm. You know that that's what's so crazy about yeah. it is that right there. And honestly, when you're looking at everything, like you just said, you know, like take another hunter out there, do that. Yeah, our numbers as hunters have been decreasing. Yeah. And we really needed to get it back up. We yep. really do. We need those numbers because of the way the political situation is. We won't go diving down in there right now. Nope. But the way it is, yep. we need the numbers to continue to support the management plans that our game wardens, our game departments have in place. Mm-hmm. You know, we need the numbers for the correct people to be into the houses and into the buildings that we need them to be. Yeah. Yep. So the laws and the management plans can go as we need them to. Yep. Yeah. You know, and the other thing, how about we were just at Bass Pro. Mm-hmm. We just did an appearance there, mm-hmm. you know, and we met a bunch of great people. We met a couple that's been hunting for 30 <laughs> some years together. That's you, cool. you know what I mean? And they were showing us pictures and, you know, at first, they they just like, yeah, I know it's not a big deer, and we're like, we, it's a great no, deer, yeah, Absolutely. it's a great deer, Absolutely. it's awesome, y- y- yeah, and and I mean, they filled the freezers, their grandkids, you know, they're mm-hmm. taking their, they're adult, getting them out, yeah, they're getting, that's what this lifestyle is all about, and it always yes. will be for us, and we hope it's it's the same for you all. So. I'm just gonna go back just a hair there when he just said we met a nice couple, an older couple there, and they've been hunting together for thirty something years together. Oh, yeah, so we <laughs> <laughs> we've been married for thirty. We've been hunting longer together than that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> Wanted to wow. flash back to that point just to make sure you understand that we've been doing this a long, long time. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's sort all of the got memories. And we, and we all the memories are settling back in. Oh my gosh. Really? Really? <laughs> Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. I promise. I'll be nice. Okay. Okay. So, does that cover pretty much all the you know the questions? Because so. right say. now, I mean, again, we're filming this early. So, yep. we have yet to go into deer, elk, or even whitetail yet going into yes. October. But um, So, well, next month. Yes. November's will kind of fill everyone up on how we've yeah. done. Oh, boy. Yeah. For November September episode, we'll keep your fingers crossed because yes. we're keeping them crossed for you all. Yes, that's we for have sure. quite a few hunts between now and then. In the time this airs. Yep. Yeah. Yes. A lot. A, a lot. lot's going to happen. It'll be good. We'll be busy. Yep. It's going to be fun. It, it is going to be, be fun. Hopefully, we have just a ton of stuff to share with and just, who knows? Know. You just never know, do you? No. Nope. You know. Nope. You don't. You know. But Captain wants to be involved in this. Uh, he wants yes. to come sit on He's his lap. Off. He wants it. So nope. Captain actually always just sits on Ralph's lap. For whatever reason, he just likes to climb yeah. up on him. Yeah. <laughs> He's just Look a big him. baby. He, he loves to baby. snuggle. Of course. He's just All right. Snuggle dog. Okay. Before we end oh. this off. Yep. Oh. There's one more. There's one more kind of. I guess it's a question, but it's going to lead into a lot more, I'm sure. Uh oh. Hey, you. Going down the line like we usually do. And starting with Aubrey this time. Oh. <laughs> what is the most memorable whitetail hunt you've been on? I'm She's like, you, I'm oh, you right okay, in this okay. One. No, I have one. Um, no. in Illinois, I think it was the first sit that we that we went out on. I believe mm-hmm. it was in that really janky like tree. <laughs> oh that, yeah. I don't like heights, but I'll still I'll <laughs> still get river, into a tree stand. I don't care. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the trees like this, and you're sitting like this. Couldn't even stand up. I mean, climbing into the stand was. The but you were connected, fall, right? Mer- yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were connected. <laughs> a little nervous. Yeah. We, went, we went up before um, a couple RJ, days, a week before, made, made sure everything's good. Yeah. But it was it was a little bit of a climb no. to get into that one. Yeah, but let me just say this. <laughs> I went up first. RJ made me go first. I was connected in everything. I had everything. But I had big insulated boots because it's cold. And you, we had to cross the river and stuff. And I'm like halfway up. And I just stopped and I froze. And I started crying. I'm like, I can't 
do this. <laughs> I can't. Because there was, like, steps that were, like, it was not ideal. But um, then I did it. I mean, I got up there. I sat there all morning. Didn't shoot anything. But, <laughs> yeah, that was that's mine. So let me tell I you a story it. once. I hated it. Hated this it. isn't even my most memorable but because you just said that so years and years and years ago ago again back before we had harnesses mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. we were hunting in ohio <laughs> and i was filming dad he's the one ralph's the one that had the tag i did not have a deer tag okay and it was with in rod. ohio with rod and he thought rod thought that <laughs> we needed to sit like 40 <clears throat> feet up in the air where the geese fly by you oh my god okay so we're going he shows us the tree he goes, it's right there. We're like, okay, it is a giant oak, a huge, huge oak where we couldn't have put our arms around it if we wanted to. Dang. Okay, like he and I together. <laughs> and it was before they really had like rapid rails or ladder, you know, like yeah. sticks to climb up. So they were all steps, Oh, like the Oof. screwing steps. Okay, screw steps. this is probably, seriously, this is probably 25 years ago. I mean, this was... This was stupid is what this was. So I'm you filming. I've got to film him. So I have to go up first. Yeah. Yep. And you don't have a harness attached to a rope the entire time up there. Thank you, Hunter Safety Systems. But we didn't. So I started doing it, and I did the exact same thing that you did. I got up to about 20 feet. Yep. She was done. And I froze. You just panicked. And I panicked, and the stands were still another 10 feet yeah. up above us. And the reason he had it this high was because the ridge and then where the tree stands were, oh, you wanted to be level. Yes. Kind of yeah, so you actually. needed to be up high enough to do that. But it just, it wasn't. Captain. <laughs> Sorry, we have a break here. Okay. Captain yeah. needed to get in the Stop. middle of the. Get him down. <laughs> Captain, get down, buddy. Captain, Captain. Get, down. get down. Get down. Sit down now. Go so, lay down. Lay down. You can go lay down on the floor. Down. Look at him. He's not happy yeah, with us. Like, come on. So, anyway, so. um. I just stopped and I looked down at, at, at Ralph and he's like, just get down. Yep. I'm like, no, I can do this. And I, I'm hanging on to it ain't the, worth the it. steps. And the thing was, is that the tree, ste the, the tree steps, the ones that were screwed in there, mm -hmm. seriously, they were like thigh to thigh. Like I had to like almost lean backwards, hold on to a step and try to get my foot on the next one with big rubber boots on yes. with, you know I mean? Like it just, and then I climbed back down and I was like, I am so sorry. And I felt like total crap. I could not make it. And I'm not afraid of heights, but I could not make it. And we got down and we sat on the ground next to this tree and this big, giant, beautiful buck walked on the ridge and he couldn't get a shot at it. Oh no. <laughs> but boom. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, but the next day, the oh, next yeah. morning we went out to a different place a and I, buck. and he shot a good, good. buck, you know, good. so good. it was all good, but yeah, it's just not yeah, worth no. it. it. It's when, not yeah. worth it. When and you're uncomfortable, aren't worth it. you're, you, it's just it's not fun I no just, it's I not i just wanted to no. prove to rj that i could do it i know and, I was and, and i was and i'm so stubborn that i have to do it but i will cry doing it <laughs> <laughs> I, don't care. I will cry i will be scared to death i told i like i told you though we can go back like, no! Like, no i already halfway up i gotta go and i'm like <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> and then when that. i found out that they sent you because i wasn't in camp that day remember i had yeah. gone to visit chrissy yes and when i found out that that's where they put you that morning i I'm was so just like why Are would you, you do that? Me? This is like her first, like actual, real white tail bow hunt. You gotta hunt cross the thing. river. And you gotta. I had a hole in my boot too. You, know, you got the whole experience. <laughs> you the first put morning. everything yeah, in the I first was, morning, I and I was like, much, oh, "Why would you do that?" I was like, "I don't. I'm like, not sitting you, there again. There's no way I'm." Sitting I will, you will this right year. Nope. We're gonna change that whole set. Okay. Okay. As long as you change, it'll all be changed. We'll have one of the muddy ladders up there. It'll be easy to get into. It'll be perfect then. Yep. Yes. I'll sit there because it's a good set. It's a not good place. Set, it's a good location. There, it's a good location. Yes. Yes. It's a good dope. sit, but yeah. not a good yeah. set. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. What's oh, yours? Yeah. What is your favorite? I think I think our Illinois book when you filmed me. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was cool. That was two falls ago now. Yeah. Not last fall, but the prior prior year. Yep. And it was it was the same book that I mean, we've been following it for a while. Yep. We knew it was there. We try we were trying to get on it a couple different times. A couple of us seen it throughout the week. And sure enough, it was kind of coming towards the end. And you were up in the tree with me. And sure enough, we made it happen. Well, yeah, it was. I'll be honest with you. It's between that hunt. For mm -hmm. me, it's between that hunt and mom's big white tail. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? In Colorado. Hold, hold, time out, Nama. What's, what's, what book are you going to say? Are you going to say your white tail? I don't know. I was still in my head. Okay. It was still yeah, going around. Because if, if I say the white, if my white tail and she says you hurt, you get you a different one. You can't choose one of ours. We can't have the same thing. No, go ahead. I'll do a different one. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, okay. It, uh, okay, it wait, actually, wait, wait. No, I, was, uh, I wasn't actually. Oh, I, was just, I thought you went oh, like no. that to stop. Okay, no, so sorry. we're just doing this fun on the podcast. We don't know fun. what we're doing. No, sorry, okay, fun. random thought process. No, 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 no I was just having fun. Okay. You have to pick, you have to, what's, oh. what's your favorite whitetail hunt? You personally shooting it. 
Oh, now you just threw a whole thing in a loop for him. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. Because you always say, uh, of course, uh, all of our favorite times are with family. With when we're absolutely. Because when you just said that to me, I was going to say your first year, but that's fair. Yeah, but if it's okay, my then, own, then, then yes, personal. it's definitely my buck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my personal deer. <laughs> your personal favorite hunt. I'm drawing a blank. Okay, just your your personal favorite while you were the hunter, not necessarily you shooting a deer, just your you being the hunter. Meh. I yeah. am. It's a blank. <laughs> Ser- seriously? Yes. It really is because I'm trying I'm thinking of I'm trying to rehash all the hunts and each one, you know, there, there's a highlight somewhere somehow. <laughs> there's a lot of disappointment. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? There is she, she missing or hitting a branch or doing this or doing that. Um yeah, wow. See, Ca- see, I, I think. Wow. I, uh, what? I was going to say, I think like when you think about your f- personal favorite, I mean, there's things where like in Kansas and then you did the same thing in Illinois in a different time was we were sitting in that one tree in Kansas. This is just my thought process on this was we sat in that tree stand and we watched that big buck bed down. This is again, this is probably 25 years ago, mm-hmm. you know, 26 years ago, something. Um and we were sitting there and we watched him bed down in the tall grass in Kansas and he wouldn't get up and he wouldn't get up. And then you dropped your antlers down used and, my you, rope. and you used your rope and you made rattling noises and he got up and came over. And then not too long after that, maybe the following year, you and Randy were in a tree stand in Illinois and you had to do the same thing. Yep. I mean, there's deer. And then, I mean, heck, his biggest deer, which I'm surprised he didn't just jump to it, but I get why he didn't because it was a very fast Hunt. It wasn't like, I mean, it's, it's a great we buck. We're losing camera light. We're losing I camera mean, light. Everything. And I could see this deer coming in and I'm filming him and the way we had, the way we set up the stands. She was five foot above me. I was like oh. way above him and I could see this buck and we're losing camera light. And that oh, was when no. the cameras back yeah. then really they didn't use. No, no, no. And all I could see is white things coming through the woods. And I'm like, there's okay. a buck, there's a buck. And he's like, where, where? I'm like, don't move. Just grab your bow. You know, and he comes and she around. she wasn't there. yelling. Okay. No, I, I, was, I was whispering. I'm like, like she normally yells yeah. at me. Yeah. I don't uh, yell at him. I don't. Oh my gosh. But I was just like, you know, you got to grab your bow. And he's like trying to look. And I'm like, just pick up your bow. Because he's coming around a hill. He couldn't see it. I was so yeah. much higher than him. He could not. And then this deer steps out. And he's like, go. Boom. And he shot it. And we got it. Mm-hmm. But it's a huge, be- it's a 188 inch deer. I mean, it's yeah. a wow. big it's a deer. deer. But it just it, that's probably why it's not ringing like favorite. Yeah, no, it I, happened fast. We didn't even know that deer was there. It was just like wow. Boom. No, and I, again, I'm I'm drawing a blank just because as we're talking, <laughs> I'm thinking of all kinds of you know all the deer through the years in Montana. Yeah, uh, I mean, you Ohio. Know, you know, I've been very fortunate to shoot some really big mature bucks, and <laughs> um, but it maybe not necessarily that's. The favorite one. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. again <laughs> i just love to hunt man you, yeah you, you know what i mean yeah. e- each one has its own different thing appeal but yeah but now if you were to change it from just white tail to all deer my mule deer <laughs> no. that's where i knew it was gonna go yeah your yep. big guy spot and stock mule deer yep yeah yeah that to me was everything. that was amazing yeah that just worked out incredibly well he was meant to be. Yep. <laughs> he was meant to be his muley. Every day, God says, "Hey, here's your here's a present." You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You and, just gotta that, see it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. people are blinded yes. by it, That's but you it. just yeah. have to look. There's yeah. blessings every I have day. A feeling for including mule deer, somebody else's story will change too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good point. For that now. Was a very, <laughs> for that now. was a very fast hunt too. Yeah, that that was, was a very hunt. fast hunt. It was. Yeah. What's yours? Well, I mean, if you're talking about your own very own <laughs> deer, then obviously mine would be my big Colorado buck. Yep. Because, again, it was you and I. And and you know what? It's funny because we said it depends on who you're with. Mm -hmm. Like I said a minute ago, like your first deer, the three of us were in the blind. That was a huge moment for us also. But Mm -hmm. my Colorado, because you said we had to pick our own hunt. You were the hunter. It would be my Colorado whitetail. And dad was, Ralph's filming me and, and you're watching again, birds. and I'm blue watching birds. bluebirds and freaking bluebirds fly in. There's a giant buck coming our way and giant. she goes, oh, look at the bluebirds. I'm like, <laughs> shut up. Oh, uh, there's, there's bucks coming. And I think God said, you know what? I'm going to send these bluebirds to Vicky. So she doesn't even think about the size of this deer. And, and, and I didn't. And it That's did. And fair. I didn't. I mean, it was like yeah. middle of yeah. November 
And all of a sudden we have, you know, we had all them bucks for whatever reason in a green field. The does weren't there. And, and comes we, the bluebirds. we saw <laughs> there was a couple really good deer in there. And I mean, I rattled, I grunted, nothing was going on. Dad's like, hey, <laughs> do the snort wheeze, you know, and I snort wheezed and the two big guys, there was a big nine out there. Mm -hmm. His body dwarfed this yeah. other one. I mean, just wow. big. He and he's huge. standing out there. You know, he's a four by, well, he's a four by four, but he had a kicker on the one. And uh, he like looked at this other one, the one that I ended up shooting. And he just looked at him and mine just kind of postured at him. And he was like, Bam. and he walked, he just <laughs> put his head down, walked away. And then. The so one. like when your mom walks out with the rolling pin at me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I spoon. Spoon. Oh, it's a wooden I spoon. Away. It's not a rolling pin. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm not that mean. It's wood spoon. Whatever. But yeah. And then all of a sudden he came. Browning 22 pistol. Oh, stop it. And then, I mean, Wood he just started suppressor. walking. Stop. He started walking <laughs> and he jumped that fence. Oh, yeah. It he was... came into, we were sitting in a bunch of Russian olive trees is what we were sitting just right <laughs> wow. along the, in the tamarack. It was like casting and... a fishing lure in <laughs> that, a lily pad. That snort you know what I mean? I mean yeah. you hear the about it. coming in. This deer, that's how this deer came. He came it like did. a string. Cool. It was crazy. And as soon as he jumped the fence, he got behind some some like willows, some tamaracks and stuff and like that. And the bluebirds show up. And I'm like, look at those bluebirds. And they're like eastern bluebirds. And I don't I'm understand. We're in, we're in goes, eastern Colorado the by the Arkansas River bottom. And I'm like, they're just sitting there. And I'm going why are they here like they should be they're eastern bluebirds they should be over like towards back towards home they shouldn't be here in colorado mother. i didn't mm -hmm. understand it and then all of a sudden he steps out he's still oh, walking at us oh there's a deer oh i mean i had my bow i was ready i'm not like duh yeah but i like so i'm walking and here comes this deer and then all of a sudden he went behind some more tamaracks and then there's another bluebird and he shows up and i'm like and there's that bluebird again and then all of a sudden he the deer just kept walking he's yeah. still going right to that we hadn't made a noise since i snort wheezed and he come past us at about 17 yards mm -hmm. and I shot him and then he ran off and I watched him and he stopped oh, and yeah. he hunched up and I'm like, okay, okay. You know, it's liver something, but okay. And then we watched him booger off. And as he did that, like the tree was shaking so bad. <laughs> My knee usually goes and the whole tree, the whole tree because was he was shaking yeah. i was shaking <laughs> i'm like don't know what to do because all of a sudden i realized oh my gosh that was a really big buck those bluebirds are really cool but it was a really big buck it was a really big buck it was it was and it is the yeah. biggest white tail in the house yeah. still Things huge still he is he's beautiful he was beautiful it but is. then you're the biggest mule though yep yeah biggest mule biggest white tail and they're both from here in colorado and yeah. now we live here so and that's kind of cool. crazy maybe it was thank you colorado thank you colorado but yeah i mean it was just that's cool. That was just a memory that you can't – that was just crazy. That was just one of those things where you'd never expect, you know, someone that you could do that. That would ever happen to me, a wild white tail yeah. that big that mm -hmm. just, you know – just comes in and sure enough It happens. just comes in. You know, back at home when we were hunting in Illinois, we saw some really good deer. We saw some oh, yeah. major really good oh, deer. Yeah. We just never hooked up. You know, we, we were never able to just seal it, you know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's pretty That's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But then if you want to talk about the other one, it would be about you and us taking, oh, excuse us, our dogs are taking over the show now. Yeah. We're like, hey. What are they doing? Morning. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Well, they must be getting tired of us talking. Yeah. They're like, come pet us. Okay. They're like, pet <laughs> us now. Pet us. Oh, goodness. But I would say, I'm sorry, I'm just going to ramble on one more time, is his first year. Yep. In yep. the ground blind, youth season you know, with a shotgun. Uh, let's reiterate that just because as, as you're getting into season right now, at how old? Nine? This is nine or ten. Nine yeah. or ten. He taught us a lesson. We were he sitting did. there and we were like, any deer that comes out tonight, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, we want RJ to try to get a deer. And a deer walks out and I'm filming. Vicky's on the on the you know on the right side. RJ's in the middle. He's slug line. hunting. Yep. And uh you know, the the deer walks in between the windows of the blind. Now, mind you, he could have shot any time, mm -hmm. but I couldn't film it. And I said, well, no, no, no. You know, like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, And okay. here's no, our no, no. son at 9 or 10, looks at us and goes, why does everything have to be on film? Hmm. I looked at mom. Mom looked at me, shut the camera off, and said, shoot him when you can. Take it. <laughs> you know, I and I, I guess the best way to close this, you know, introduction that for the deer for, the, you know, October here, and that is... <laughs> Don't put management of the deer in front of managing the kids. Absolutely. Don't make, don't be, you know, so obsessive 
that they have to shoot the biggest deer or the oldest deer. Let them go out and have fun because I'm going to yeah. challenge all of you. How many of us, you go in the garage or you go in the basement and you have a box full of little six points, three points, spikes, whatever skulls they are, skull plates. You know, we, we did it and it was okay. Now we're telling these chill, you know, these young hunters or new hunters, no, no, wait, it's got to be five and a half or he's got, no, let them go out and have a great time. Squeeze the trigger, pull the, you know, let go of the string, you know, however it is and experience what hunting is and let them have time to grow into maturity as far as mm -hmm. hunting. But right. before then, let it fly. <laughs> Let's make hunting great again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yes. Yes. We need to. We need to, and we need to get more involved. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, I think that pretty much closes up. Is there anything else you would like to add? Anybody else like to add? No, I think we were. Leo, safe. Captain, <laughs> dogs, anything? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no. But good luck this season. Yeah. God yes. bless good you luck guys. Out there. Yes. And again, as always, uh, if you want to check out my mom and dad, Ruff and Vicky, all, pretty much across all handles, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's at Ralph and Vicky. And for Aubrey and I, it's uh, at RJ and Aubrey. <laughs> and same thing, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we're starting to get into more stuff now. So subscribe. We're, we're yeah, all over. Like, did you hear that? I, subscribe, wow. right? High five. I don't know. What yeah, that means. remember to like and subscribe if you want to be always notified when we're going to have more yeah. going on, just so we can get more of this going on. Exactly. He did that. I can't believe yeah. that. Good job. Good job, Dad. He's learning. You subscribe. can't teach an old dog new <laughs> tricks. Yeah. Yeah, just like them too. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about Leo. Oh. I'm just kidding, buddy. Thanks, He's guys. Appreciate Thanks, guys. it. Thank have you. a great season. Thank you for watching the Choice Podcast. We'll see you guys next month. The Choice Podcast is proudly partnered with Bass Pro Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. Hunter Specialties. Serious hunting tools. 